Hi everybody, I'm so glad you're here. This is week four in our series on Friendship with God, and I'm really excited today because I'm joined by a special friend who's also one of your teachers. Hi, I'm Katie, and did you know that we live on a big planet called Earth? And did you know that there are 7.8 billion people who live here with us? Wow, lots of people. Um, and we live on the country that we call the United States of America. And did you know that there are 194 other countries in addition to the one we live on? That's crazy. Yeah. And did you know that the weight of all the ants together in the world is the same as the weight of all the humans? That means there's like 10 quadrillion ants that live here. Oh, so many ants. Ugh. Oh my goodness. And did you know that the official animal of Scotland is a unicorn? That's right, a unicorn. <laughs> and did you know that I love grilled cheeses? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie can be kind of silly sometimes. Yeah. Uh, but one of the ways that she's been helping our Fusion family lately is to help us think more outward. So I don't know if you guys remember in church, we would often talk about the up, in, and out triangle. And this is a triangle that we just use to help us kind of balance our life like Jesus did. So up refers to our relationship with God. In refers to our relationship with our fusion family and fellow believers. And then out refers to our relationship with people outside our fusion family and maybe those that don't yet know the good news of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, so far, uh, most of our lessons have been more upward focused when we were reading God's word and listening to his voice. And today's lesson is going to be a little bit more outward focused, where we're going to be thinking about others and how we can love and serve others better. Um, so I want for you to think about somebody that you really love. So maybe a parent or a grandparent or a close friend. And then I want you to imagine that that person has a need. So maybe they're sick or they don't have enough food or they don't have a place to live. Um, and then imagine that somebody goes and helps that person that you love. How would that make you feel? Probably pretty great, yeah. right? When mm -hmm. someone you love so much gets helped out like that. That's kind of how it is with God. So he has created all the people on our earth and he loves each and every one of them so much. And it makes his heart really happy when we can look outside of ourselves and, and to think about how we can love and serve other people. Um, and so just a reminder, the scripture that we've been kind of covering throughout this series, that's considered the greatest commandment that Jesus spoke, that says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So one of the ways that we can love God and um, to grow in friendship with him is to love others as ourselves. Yeah, and one of the ways we love others is to pray for them. Uh, we believe that it's really important to listen to God. And we spent the last couple weeks learning how to do that, mm -hmm. but it's just as important to talk to him. He wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your thoughts. He wants to hear your voice. God loves it when you talk to him. And he really loves to answer our prayers and to listen. When Jesus walked on the earth, he spent a lot of time talking to God the Father. And he taught his disciples, the people who followed him, how to pray as well. Mm -hmm. How many of you have ever felt a little unsure about how to pray or what words to use when you talk to God? <laughs> <laughs> me too you are not alone it can feel a little strange and awkward and even the dis disciples that followed Jesus they asked him how should we pray how should we talk to God and he told them that they should pray the Lord's Prayer and it's a tool that we can use too to help us understand God's heart for others God's heart for the world and to talk to him about what's going on mm -hmm. uh, we can pray for people who live in completely different places and live completely different lives than us and he hears us mm -hmm. even though we have differences like where we live and the color of our skin and how we spend our days we are all God's children and we are loved by him and we are called to love one another another and part of that is through praying for them mm -hmm. yeah so today and throughout this week we're gonna invite you guys to be praying over people who live really far away from us in different continents mm -hmm. of our world and we're gonna be trusting that our really good God is gonna hear our prayers and he's gonna answer our prayers for specific needs for the people and then draw them closer to himself yeah. so we'll have a little bit more on what that's gonna look like but right now let's check out this video that reminds us of all the continents in our amazing world yeah.
The world is split up into continents There are seven in all And if you get the gist We're gonna make a list From biggest to small They are Asia, Africa North and South America Antarctica, Europe And finally Australia Asia, Africa North and South America Antarctica, Europe And finally Australia Hey, my name is Asia And more than half of the world lives here But whatever And I am Africa with desert for miles And my Nile is the longest river North America, start down in Panama Wide open spaces all the way to Canada I'm South America with animals galore Where the rainforest grows cause the rain really pours I'm Antarctica and I'm totally ours And I'm Europe, you're welcome For the pasta, pizza, waffles and fries I am Australia, some call me Oceania I got a lot of islands, too many to explain to ya We are Asia, Africa North and South America Antarctica, Europe And finally Australia So now that you know who we'll be praying for, let's talk about how this is going to work. Throughout the week, we're going to be focusing on a different continent every day. So a continent is just a group of different countries that kind of are all in a similar place on the globe. So we have, there are six different continents that we are going to be focusing on because our seventh one, nobody lives there. <laughs> True. <laughs> and we'll have a different continent we pray for every single day. Uh, if you like to learn about uh, different cultures and about the things that people enjoy or like to eat or like to do in different places that are different from ours, then you can ask a grown up to maybe help you do some research on different countries or continents that we'll be praying for each day. And this is going to be a great way for us to uh, notice the people around us in the world and be connecting with different cultures that we may not think about mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For today, though, we're going to just ask you to kind of focus on our world as a whole. Okay. So we're going to lead you through praying for our world using the Lord's Prayer, like Katie kind of mentioned before. Um, but first, I'm going to go ahead and read the Lord's Prayer to you. This is found in Scripture in the Bible. Um, and it's found in Mark chapter 6, starting in verse 9. It says, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, your name is holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we have also forgiven those who sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Um, so this is what Jesus told his disciples, like Katie kind of mentioned, when they asked him how they should pray. He gave mm -hmm. them the Lord's Prayer. Um, and so we often use um, a, another tool along with the Lord's Prayer, and it's a shape some of you might be familiar with. It's a hexagon. So do you guys remember how many sides a hexagon has? That's right. Six. Six sides. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so we use a hexagon with six sides because the Lord's Prayer can actually be broken down into like six main categories that can help guide our prayers. Those six categories are one, that God is good. Two, that God has a perfect plan for our earth. Three, that God takes care of us. Four, God forgives us. Five, God guides us and helps us to become more like him. And six, God protects us. So we're going to go ahead and pray through each of those categories together. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a prayer, and I want you guys to just repeat after me, okay? okay? So we can go ahead and fold our hands and bow our heads, maybe take a deep breath. God, you are so good. God, you are so good. We want to help bring your perfect plan to our world. We want to help bring your perfect plan to our world. 
Thank you that you take care of every one of your children. Thank you that you take care of every one of your children. Please forgive us when we don't love well. Please forgive us when we don't love well. Help guide us to become more like you. Help guide us to become more like you. Protect us and all of your creation. Protect us and all of your creation. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this lesson today. Hopefully you, hopefully you learned a little something about prayer um, and how much it means to God. Um, like Katie mentioned earlier, we're going to be sending a little document out with some resources um, and some ideas for this next coming week. And so make sure to mention to your parents, if they're not watching this with you, that um, they can be on the lookout for that. It's also going to have the hexagon that we talked about um, and a little description to go with each of those categories that we prayed through. So, all right. Have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.